Now, come on, dog. Don't mess with them cats. You know what? I've been having they probably belong to Sheriff. Blessing game, ma'am. I'm a stranger here in town. I surely don't mean to be forward or nothing like that, seeing as how we, we ain't been proper introduced, Miss. Miss. Uh... Lorraine. Libertha Lorraine. I mean, uh, Miss Lorraine? Uh, like I was saying, I don't want to be presumptuous or anything, but I was just wondering if I could maybe, uh, may I escort you to wherever well, it was? thank you, Mr. Blasengame. I'm near the stone, and I can't be seen with every ride-in, ride-out trail hand who takes a fancy. Oh, well, I'm no mere trail hand, Miss Lorraine. I'm a Texas cattleman. You see, I'm just up here looking around for some new range for my stock. I run a few head down home, 20, 30,000, down to Big Bend country. So I thought I might buy into something around here. Oh, I'm terrible sorry. I must be boring you, miss. Libby. It becomes Libby with my friends. Libby? Are you, uh, are you planning to be in Bravado Long, David? Well, <laughs> Mr. Blackington! <Blasenger. laughs> it's a duster! It's the good Lord! Power of the infidel! Power of the power! <laughs> Come on now, Dave! Let's go, boys! Come on, boy! Your head stretch will make a canyon look like it! Well, Get out of here, Brown! I'm gonna bless you with a gun barrel right across your red room now. Fun, boy. Fun. Shame on you! Shame! I'm gonna put blood on him. Oh, I'll put blood on you. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Mr. Smith, you are in liquor. Oh, evil companions, my dear, pressed it upon me. <laughs> oh, Miss Libby, you, are you acquainted with this reptile here? Reptile, no, I... David, please, no violence. Don't I? Yes, I believe I do. I know this miserable sin in this Libby. His name is Dave Glass in the game, bless my immortal soul. <laughs> I asked you if you and Mr. Smith were acquainted. Ah, lost his power of speech. That's a sure sign of incipient brain failure. Shame on you. A raft of apologies, Mr. Blassingame. My fiancé reminds me of my... My fiancé reminds me of my manners. Mr. Smith. Well, to be true, again, my apologies. It's true. I'm still just courting, but I have every confidence that I don't have. Mr. Smith? Smith, wasn't it? Well, yes, David. Mr. Smith is the avocado tycoon from the state of California. Avocado? Well, now, that that's remarkable. Mr. Smith, that is a downright unusual fact, because when I knew Smith here... Oh, well, then you have met. Perhaps oh, not. yes, yes, oh, indeed. No. Yes, indeed, we sure have. Why, we met first uh, down at... Uh... At your ranch in Texas. Ranch? Well, yes, where Mr. Blasengame runs all those cows and all that lovely grass. How many cows did you say you had, David? 20,000 head. 30,000. <laughs> Oh, my, that, that, that's indeed a, that's a fascinating number, Mr. Blasingame. Mr. Blasingame, did you ever, in your infinite wisdom, consider feeding them avocado? No. But I tell you what, if I should ever take any of my cattle out California way, we could sit down and talk about it, couldn't we? Is that a deal? That's a deal. Oh, how wonderful. 
I love business. All those intricate figures of profit and loss. I don't mean loss. It's just beyond me. I guess I just don't know that much about business. Whose dog is this? You two. The two of you, you together. Which one of you owns this dog? There's a bill due for damages. A fat bill. Miss Libby, you know whose dog this is? I'm sure I don't, John. Do you know Mr. Smith? Well, uh, could it be? Yes, as sure as it's four-legged, it's Mr. Blazingame. My dog. dog? He's a brute, isn't he? Why, I never even seen that animal before. What would I want with a dog like that? Now, shame on you, Mr. Blazingame. Prevarication is a venial sin. It's his dog, all right. His name is... What? Uh, what, what was what? his name? What was his name, Mr. Blazingame? How would I know what his name is, Mr. Well, Smith? What do you call a dog? Spot? Here, Spot. Come here, Spot. Come on, boy. Come on, Rover. Towser. King. Come on, King. Well, I guess he hasn't got a name. Oh, shame on you, Mr. Smith. Not giving your dog a handle. This is most assuredly not my dog. I've never even seen this predatory monster before. I wouldn't have a dog like this. I I, I, I just wouldn't. Unfortunately, they, they seem to have a strange affinity for me, you see. It's quite peculiar, really. They just can't seem to stay away from my person. Well, you know, animals love honesty. Get down, Rover. Spot. Rover, get down. Me and my brothers say he's your dog, mister. Mine? Well, no. I explained to you that he's... Your dog. My dog. Let's step in the store and uh, total up the damages. Miss Levy, have you got some kind of a understanding with Mr. Smith? Does that concern you, David? Yeah. Because, see, Miss Libby, I'm not one of these here triflers. I'm a sincere man, and I, I stake my aims, and I aim to court. Mm. Uh, that is, if you allow me to hang around that capacity. Well, I am near spoken for, but, but I'd admire having you as a friend. Oh, you have. Now, when can I see again? Are you a drinking man, David? Oh, no, Miss Libby. And you may call for me at 7. The last house on Front Street. Of course, I'll have to defer a previous engagement, but... Uh -huh. I'd be proud of having you escort me to the temperance meeting tonight. Seven. Tomcat lies, lean and long, dirty and yaller, came along. And he sniffed at that innocent pussy cat. And she strolled around doing this and that. He says, honey, uh, get off of that narrow Get off of that narrow fence. Living alone don't make no sense. And then that Tom with a sneaky laugh. Says, let's take a trip down Primrose. Primrose Pass. Come on, in after the night. Just a moment. Oh, you get help me. Just a moment. You help me, just a moment. I think that just about does it, Mr. Blessingame. Well, thank you, Barney. My pleasure, sir. Mm -hmm. How's it look in the back there, Burgundy? Oh, fine, fine. Say, Dave, your, your dog smashed up $86 worth of general merchandise. I paid $56 of that, but there's still 30 to go, and I, I'm busted. Big avocado farmer like you? Hand me that other call, will you? Listen, Charlie, good night. I need 30 pieces of silver right now, otherwise they take my horse and my saddle. Well, a man is obliged to pay his just debts. It's my debts, it's yours. Mine? Give me that, uh, that brush, that small in there. Look, all I ask is $30. A piece of soap. All I ask is $30. And they want it tonight. Well, they take it out and hide, they say. Well, they ain't gonna get $30 worth of your hide. Bert, did you ever brush your teeth so hard that the skin up there gets all sore? Look, look, Dave. You must be Dave, salt. wait a minute. This is your problem. Mine. It was your dog. Not my hide, though. Pleasant game. For the sake of friendship and fair play, I, I, I can't get the middle of my back, would you? 
But I appeal to you. I appeal to you as one amigo to another. Now, well, you got a give and take in time of need. Now, thirty dollars isn't too much. To well, I gotta admit I'm in kind of a generous mood, Smith. I'm courting Miss Libby, and I mean to have her. Of course, with you. Uh... I'll give her up. I'll give her up. But the, the, the better man is one. No hard feelings. <laughs> never, never. I'll speak highly of you to the young lady. Very highly. You're a prince among mortals. I ain't here good enough for her. No, no, you're... Well, if any man could be, you... Ain't she a dark little birdie? Ah, she's a veritable angel. She's a queen. She's a paragon. Smith, you're looking at a man in love. I mean, that cow has jumped over the moon and I'm riding on that self-same animal. Oh, Smith, it is something so good. I want to holler, I want to jump. Ah, oh, Burgundy, you ought to try it. You got to. Now, just look at me. Sure. You're a mountain spring. You're a budding tree. A creature without wool. A thing of splendor. It's well said, Smith. Thirty dollars. Give me some of that sweet oil, will you? Thirty dollars are standing between me and a skinny body grave. Now, they're stout fellows, all of them. They'll just toss me like a tumbleweed. They'll knock my neck around a fence post. Hey, I've got trouble. I've got bloody, feathery, teeth-rattling trouble. Why don't you just get yourself a woman, Smith? That's all you need and require, a good-loving woman. I don't need a woman. I need thirty dollars. Well... Don't give interest. I gotta think about it, Burgundy. Uh, and, and services. I'll lend you the benefit of my many accomplishments. Like, uh, oh, invocation of the muse. A silken phrase is guaranteed to win the heart of any lady fair. What about that, Bryson Game? All for a mere $30. What more could a friend do for a friend? Well, I guess so. There's a man who appreciates the value of friendship. Break out them drawers, will you, Bernie? Yeah, sure. So wouldn't you keep your poke anyway? Right in the new pants. Are these here? Yep. All right. Yeah. Now, now, that's three dollars and four bits. Where's the rest of them? That's it. Three dollars and four bits. You can take it all, Burgundy, with my blessing. What good is this mite of cash gonna do me? Well, you can go get drunk. I might kill the pain when they beat on you. Marzen Gaben? Tom, I hear with you back my offer of a free appeal with Miss Libby. Because Blazing Game, you're a no account, fur callous, saddle thief, and The joys of a fancy then unfurled. Libby Lorraine, Libby Blazing Game. Yes, my headache is better. This is Mr. Blasingame, a Texas cattleman. Mark Lewis, he owns the store. All contributions gratefully accepted. Well, Mr. Blasingame will make a sizable contribution from the floor. Yes. The vilest, most diabolical liquid foisted upon that weak creature man by the minions of Lucifer Rex. Alcohol. I repeat, alcohol, the very liquefaction of evil. Rabled, bottled, corked, and spread among the citizens by such vicious dead foes as that blot upon the face of the town of Bravado across the street. Ah, but the path is still open, my friends, wide open. 
while the temptation of the devil's brew does still prevail. I will now pour a drink of liquor. And here, here is one of the Lord's most trusting and simple creations, which I shall offer up on the altar of sanity, however reluctantly, thusly. It burns, it destroys, and as you will witness with your own eyes, the tortures of this innocent, segmented, hapless, an illustrative worm, can you do aught but quail in horror at the destruction caused by this corrosive and sulfurous fluid? Ladies and gentlemen, the worm is dead. That concludes my remarks. We all thank you, Mr. Smith. I know you have an appointment and must leave. Yes, uh, uh, how much is in the collection plate? Eleven dollars. Very well. Medication, my dear. I have a bad case of worms. Did you know he was taking this drink? Oh, I suspected, Miss Libby. I suspected. I need help, Dave. Why? For that 30,000 head of cattle. Shut up. Shut up. Disgusting, Mr. Blassengame. Brawling and, and hollering like a panther. You have no respect for womanhood. I have respect. Oh, how can I believe that, David? Because I care for you. Because I'm through with drinking and gambling and cussing and stomping on people. And I'm going to quit drifting and... Quit drifting and being no account, too. And, um, what about your ranch in Texas? Well, I kind of stretched out a little. Well, I was afraid you were going to walk away from me. I almost believed you. I wanted to. You can blame me now. I'll get you anything you want. Do you love me, David? Sure, I reckon I do. Then say it. I love you. <sighs> Thank you. I wanted to hear you say that just once. And now that you have, I, I think that I should tell you. Mr. Blasky. Mr. Blassingame. Mr. 
Hmm, Slibby? Slibby, I wouldn't want to take advantage. Of you being my intended bride and all. Night, Miss Libby. Libby's gonna marry me. Not when I inform her of the true circumstances regarding your state of wealth. I already told her that it don't make no difference. She loves me. Mm -hmm. Love me? Love my dog? Mm -hmm. What about Brown? Does she love Brown? Your dog Brown, will she let you keep him? Well, of course I can keep my dog. That's all I wanted to know. I've got you, blazing game. I told you it was his dog. All right, both of you, come along. Oh, now, wait a minute. Wait a, wait a minute. Our agreement was that I'd go free. Now, please, I, I have to court a maid this evening. Forget your plans, Mr. Smith. Oh, no! no. I gave her violence, Bertie. You coward! She'll never even know. I'll tell her. Pretty little mockingbird setting in fine. Stop grinning like a stuffed bird. <laughs> Well, you could rot here for a year if that bill ain't paid. Oh, she'll wait for me, Smith. You're really in earnest about getting married. I am, I am. Oh. Listen, won't be long no rain for me. Present game, think. No more the joy of dollar liquor trickling down your parched throat. She'll put a stop to that. No more the joy of thrusting yourself into the more chance. She'll have you tied, boy. Apron string and plow. She'll make you quit everything you enjoyed. Even other women. She paid the bill. I'm forgetting the bill. Sort of an amnesty and celebration. What are you celebrating? The bands of my engagement have been announced. I'm getting married. Congratulations. It was to be contagious. Who are you getting married to? Miss Levy. The richest man won, Mr. Blasingame, as is often the case. She sent a message for you. She hopes you and Mr. Smith have the best of luck in your ranching interests, and she hopes that you will not be insulted if you're not invited to the wedding. Oh, that man's a fool, Dave. He's got a thriving business, got everything to live for, and he puts a ring in his nose. He ain't a fool. I am a fool, Smith. You know, you know, I had her last night right there in my hand, uh, warm and loving, and I let her go. I walked away from her. Libby Lewis. Don't even sound right. Hey, you! You, Lewis! Listen, you tell her I said thanks, here! And tell her I'm going out and get drunk! Man, you was right, Smith. A man don't need nothing but a horse and a gun and a dog. Come on, Brown, let's get out of here. Brown, Brown, come on, boy. Just hit. Brown. Smith! Brown, you nice, Smith! Come on!
has been a four-star production.